I'm gonna pick my outfit again. Um. Ooh, damn. What am I feeling? Oh. Well, I don't know what I did. Dip tech. Dip tick. Dip. Limb dick lenny. thing we saw that um the other max turned into Safi Might want to, you know, uh, cover up the hole Just in your door. Go upstairs and put on something dry. Yeah, you might want to. She also be in the dead world. That would be wild. She's not okay. Well, she even trashed my bedroom. Yeah. No. 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 Uh. That's what, that's what that's what my indoor outfit is. I like this one though. What's the, what's what's the out? Yeah, no. I'm just gonna stick with what I have, and that's the red. I have so much I want to ask Sophie about. Yeah, like I why? Don't even know where to start. Um, I, I, damn that ass, damn Max, okay, when did you get an ass, Max? Last time I saw you were flat. Um, well, I know exactly where to start with Safi. Um, how were you, how did you look like me? Do you have powers as well? So, you're what a shapeshifter. You You've have got power? powers? We both have powers. Here. Person with the bottle cap has to answer a question. Hey, I'm the one who saved you, so oh. I start. Clever little minx you. I start. Deal. Let's play. Are you able to transform to anyone? Can you turn into anybody? Uh, only if I've met them IRL. So anyone? Trying to guess who I've been? Go ahead. I'll answer those for free. Gwen. Gwen. That was you, impersonating Gwen and dealing drugs to students. Not like she didn't deserve it. Your book deal. When I got the news, it was cancelled. She was the first person I called. She said she didn't know anything about it. When she started ignoring my texts, I knew it was mask off time. Hell, I started to think you were in on it too. 
That's why I came tonight. To see what you were hiding. Why didn't you tell me you knew Gwen killed it? Um... Needed more info? I didn't want to hurt you. I wanted to wait till I got more information. You've got my number, Max. <laughs> we could have shared intel. True. Fair. That, that, that's my that's my fault. Hey. It's whatever. Tonight's a total reset. Yeah, fair enough, Lucas. <laughs> Did you change into Lucas and ruin things with his son? I thought Lucas was involved in canceling my book. Well, he wasn't. I gave him a chance to come clean. He didn't. Cold, but I understand. I guess Lucas could be taken down a peg. Or free. He's still successful, still tenured, and still a man. He'll be okay. I don't think she's seen any of these people. Let's move on. I guess I should let you ask me something now. So. Are you like that girl in Frozen? Yep! I'm Elsa, bitch! <laughs> High powers, musical numbers. Yeah, I'm Elsa. That's me. No. <laughs> you should have just said yes. There's a world parallel to this one that I can access. I am um, switched that world's icy leak with our broken one. Hang on. Parallel world? Yeah. It's the same as this one, except... <laughs> You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. I killed you. We don't even know if it's me yet. You're... dead. Okay. <laughs> you, wanted, you wanted answers. Um, gonna... Any more with that one? This you? Were you gonna say something? Sorry. At some point in the future, I think I'm going to travel back to the moment you took this photo and shoot you. Uh, unless I can figure out why and find a way to change things in the present. Let's come back to this. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that either. Could you all... Could you always shift? Yeah. Let's ask that question. How long have you had your power? She said since high school, I swear. Uh, since high school? Oh my god, I'm a genius. Right after dad left. Mom was broken. And the way she dealt with being broken was to make sure I wasn't. That was a project. Damn. Proof that she didn't need him to do something right. That's I mean... a lot to put on a kid. Yeah, don't I know it. I remember wishing so much I could just be the way she wanted me. Magically. Instead of struggling all the time and still falling short. If it helps you, then I still fall short. I started wishing I could be someone else entirely. 
someone who didn't have to carry all that weight then one day you transformed it into who I could okay you just... who was the first person you transformed into if I was able to shapeshift the first person I'd transform into is uh I can't even say on stream my mom she can wait so you said something about traveling back to a moment can you clarify yeah so back in high school they would uh, rewind the time is, in my teens I could rewind time shit time travel too you're really white privileged into all the cool powers aren't you white I think so but rewinding was a trap too easy to abuse knowing you can undo anything makes choice seem irrelevant oh, the things I would undo the bad sex I would unhave the amazing sex I'd rehab <laughs> I don't need to know that to move forward you can only choose one path and you have to live with it My turn again, huh? <laughs> I can go again if you want. How does shape shifting work? How exactly do you shape shift? It's got something to do with perception. Manipulating how others see me and hear me. Like right now, I can kind of feel the part of your brain that senses me. And if I nudge it. Whoa! Wow. Yup. Still creepy. Are the teens using creepy to mean awesome nowadays? Whoa. It's like she walked across my brain for a second. That's nuts. It's not, this is what well, I just realized. It's the first un Life is Strange game where two right, of the so two characters have powers in the same, at the same travel, time. And now you can switch timelines? What What changed? Um, you know that blue-haired girl? That was my fault. She died, shot and bleeding out on the floor of our high school bathroom, all alone. All alone except for me, the one person who could have helped her, stuck powerless behind a stall a few feet away. I saw the article in your memories box. You can't blame yourself. I can't. Because I rewinded time and saved her and it fucked everything my up. powers created a storm. Literally, I mean. And I had a choice. Save my town? Or save her? Chose Arcadia Bay. I mean, I still stand by that decision. I didn't try to rewind again for years. Not until I got here. When other you died, I learned that my powers had changed. That I had. By 
the way. Moses on the other side gave me that bottle cap to give to you. Moses knows? Other. No, not everything. He knows about me and you being alive. Not the shape changing, obviously. He told me to tell you to stay safe. I'm trying. I should probably tell you about Maya. That would be wonderful, actually. I've been trying to find out Maya about it for okay, okay. my okay. best friend. I thought she wasn't. God, we were such a pair. <laughs> she was so fucking smart, dude, and the best writer I've ever known. The best writer I've ever known is Alan Wake. What Lucas did to her? Shit could literally like, bring shit to life. It essentially killed her. And as incandescently angry as I am at Lucas, at everyone, I'm so much angrier at myself. Understandable. God, I, I told her to stay quiet about it. <laughs> My silence catapulted Lucas fucking Colmenero to literary stardom and sent Maya to an early grave. You said you were mad at everyone about it. Still am. Vivin, Yasmin, Gwen. Should I confront her that I know about her and Vin? Uh, who she sleeps with isn't my problem. Uh, Does that include your mom? She told me to tell Maya to keep quiet, and she protected Lucas. That's fucked up. We've talked it through a little since then. I don't hold it against her. Not really. Including Gwen? Gwen was the one who said to put my anger into poetry. Wow. That poetry became all the daughters we don't talk about. Your book. Yep. It wasn't a book. And at the eleventh hour, it was a two pages of of words. Vin's statement. Bing bing. He was supposed to be Maya's friend, but Caledon said jump. At least I have the humanity to regret asking how high. That's enough questions. I'm hazy on the connection between all this in your book. Every piece in that collection was about Maya. Or about what happened to her. I, I read it and I couldn't piece it together. Guess I told it a little too clearly. And when Gwen showed her true colors and pulled the plug on the book, I had to find some other path to vindication. When Lucas, Ben, your revenge tour. My justice tour. I'm in. Safi. What if... What if that justice tour goes wrong? What if it spirals out of control? What if eventually it's the reason I... What? This photo? That I don't remember taking? Dude, do you even own a gun? No, but... Great! Don't buy a gun. Problem solved. I don't know how you can be so chill about this. I don't understand how you could be such a bummer about it. Max, we have fucking superpowers. Sure. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. You and me, we're more in control than most people. Oh, she's one of those types. Hey, look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you really think that you're capable of hurting me like that? No. No, yes, no. No. I don't think so. Maybe. I hope not. The start. <laughs> 
I trust you, Max Caulfield. Enough for both of us. I don't think Max is going to kill her. But Sophie, we can't just cross our fingers. We have to do something. What do you propose? Lucas. Justice for Maya. You wrote a whole book about it. And that book is dead. Not really. The book is... You aren't. I can still expose Lucas. We can. When you tried to expose him before, you were alone. Now there's two of us. We've got powers, and we've got proof. Krampus on campus. Shit, that's tonight. Everyone will be there. And you'll be expecting a mock trial. He won't be expecting us. <laughs> Wanna nail a smug asshole to the wall? Yep, I'm in. I've never wanted anything more. And we even got proof to expose his ass. That's the that's the funny thing about it. We we got we got a photo. Oh that the turtle. I'm here at Krampus, but shit. I'm still really Where's Amanda? Sophie has powers. We're not gonna stop playing as Sophie, are we? people's brains to see what she wants them to see. And Lucas, you can't get any lower than plagiarizing your students' work. So she, what, she can't actually shapeshift. So can Sophie not Everyone actually shapeshift? Can she just like change the perspective? And Maya will get the justice she so deserves. So it's almost like a Jedi mind trick. Oh, let's get to work. Okay. Some of these decorations scream not safe for work. It's Krampus. Every year it gets even more like a Halloween rager. Uh, I love it. I'm not sure. I know. Uh, I love it. It's spooky. I like it. Everyone should end the year this way. Your idea of a fun outing involves condemned buildings. Of course you like it. <laughs> Is the gingerbread house part of the plan? Hilarious. No. The plan is when it's time to roast Lucas, we'll swap out their toothless slideshow with mine. All day on it. But all the evidence I have is what Lucas did to Maya. We'll play it while he's on stage, in front of everyone. That's smart. What's wrong? Just promise me we'll nail him this time. I can't make a promise like that. I will try our best. Of course. Uh. I don't want to lie to her, but I think we got him. He's not slithering out of this. Not between the two of us and other Moses. You're right. He's fucked. Yeah, he's fucked. So, how do we put this off? Looks like Reggie's running the projector. We need someone who's willing to run the slideshow without asking questions. And not piss themselves when the kids get back. I'll see how I just feel. Next up, Ben. He's the MC tonight. So we'll need his help. Oh, fucking. You can talk him into it. Ben and I have history. And that leaves Gwen. It'd be nice to have her support. She hates Lucas as much as I do. But I doubt she'd listen to me. You're not on great terms, but I can try. Great. Let me know when you're done. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Enjoy the party. <laughs> Fuck you! This is all your fault! Lucas is a go. 
Um... Sorry, Gwen. I'll probably have to bother you anyway. Oh, here we go. Amanda. Uh, uh, Max, I just found out Revenge Horse is coming in the spring if you want to go IRL. I'd love to, but... But what? I'll get back to you, sure. Yeah, nothing I can't handle. <sighs> Let's just pull the bandaid off and talk to Gwen. Hey. What is it, Max? Safi has a plan to tell the truth about Lucas's book during the roast. It would be a lot more credible if someone from the faculty backed us up. All I wanted was one last drink before I left this place forever. I hope you two get him, but I didn't sign up to confront anybody tonight. Hey, I... I totally get that. I'll still miss you. I can't picture this place without you. We'll see each other again. I don't intend to slip that easily into obscurity. I hope... Whatever you do, it's so successful, you can rub it in everyone's face later. I'll miss that optimism. But she's not helping us this year. Fuck. Uh, who else do I have to talk to? Talk to Reggie. Hey, Reggie. You manning the projector tonight? <laughs> Babysitting, more like. The school only agreed to let us use Olga here if someone kept an eye on her at all times. Oof. Not what you had planned for Krampus. Reggie, how would you feel about... Helping us with a prank or being relieved of your duties? Helping us pull a prank on someone. We need to use the projector. Oh, uh, I, I, um, I don't, I actually, I don't think that that's, uh, that, uh, <clears throat> Just testing you. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job. Caledon must appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm paying all the bills with all this appreciation. <laughs> okay, Reggie's not going to cut it. But if something went wrong, Projector. And Moses was the only one who could fix Is Moses it. here? Oh, he's with Diamond. Okay. But how can I make sure I only break it in a way that this Moses can fix? Let's go talk to dead Moses. I mean, oh, not I dead, dead Moses. Moses. have a little more time with Diamond before I try to Well, what's up with his hair? It's like he has a comb through it. Okay, I don't want to talk to him just yet. I want to... What if I talk... Can I even talk to him, Angela? Ready for the school year to be over? Damn. This year has felt like a string of endless Mondays. You'll be here? I'll be in and out. Don't have too much fun. Okay, she doesn't... Okay, um, wait. Yes, go ask Moses. Hey, Moses. Not sure I'll ever get used to that. <laughs> I like it. It'll help with cosplay. How's your first Krampus? weird it's the oddest shit i've ever seen in my life which is saying something i usually hate parties but crepus is always fun anyway that's not why we're here did you guys figure out a plan yes we did but it's already falling apart we require mozai assistance 
I need to get other Reggie to let other Moses control the projector instead. Okay. I was thinking if something went wrong with it. So it's got to go wrong in a way that's right for me to fix it. Exactly. Do you know which projector it is? Reggie called it Olga? Olga can be particular. If you go to the other side and listen, I can walk you through jamming it from here. You might be better at my powers than me. Yeah, true. Probably. <laughs> Come back and let me know if it works, okay? I will. Crazy. Better get into position. I don't want to miss Moses' instructions. Yeah, Moses really understands my powers, like, to a T. Where is he? Don't want Reggie seeing me do this. I need Reggie's eyes off that projector long enough for me to get my hands on it. Huh. They're chummy. Maybe Diamond can help me out. Bet bum. Let's do it bad for each other and he Okay. Missing assignment. I think missing assign let's focus on his schoolwork, yeah. Keep it classy. <laughs> classy. Reggie's officially distracted. I should be good to go now. I hope Moses is ready on the other side to get me in. Maybe Reggie did see her. Did she have to talk to him? Okay, how long does it take? Max, you there? Man, I feel sick. If you're there, start by opening the control hatch. It should be on the right side. This thing. You mean there are more controls? I feel kind of like a spy. Do you feel like a spy? Oh, Moses. Okay, Max, you back? If yes, switch the focus mode to magnet. If no, I... If no, I'm not really sure. Just keep talking to myself, I guess. Focus mode, okay? So far, so good. What's my next step? What's next, Moses? Okay, we'll go to the left. Still needs to be a little more to the left. This looks like it's in the right spot. I'm giving you an extra second or two. You probably turn the knob all the way to the right at first by mistake. Hey. All right, Max. Final step. Just hit calibrate. After a few seconds, you should hear the motor stick. I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry, Elva. Press calibrate. Tilt, no, calibrate, calibrate. Power, calibrate! Sorry, Reggie, but this is one omelette we have to make. No, 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 shit! Uh, what is happening, old god? <laughs> He's freaking out. Hey, guys. Max. Hey. Uh. Who's winning? Uh. Not to be a downer, but. Things are looking good for you, Diamond. 
That's because I am playing the long game. You know there's only two more rounds, right? This game is impossible. Busted projector. Hey, Moses. I need a favor. I think Reggie's on the brink of ruining school property. Oh, it's Olga. Everyone thinks she's finicky, but she's just... Rain check? Sure. Booty call. I feel sorry for her. Hey, Reggie, I found help. I, I, I don't know what happened. One minute she's fine, and the next she's yelling at me like she's my mom. <laughs> There's your problem. The focusing motor is stuck. <laughs> Maybe take the night off, Reggie. I think Moses has it from here. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, Max. You sure? It's best for Olga. Uh, we need a pro. Yeah, this is Krampus we're talking about. We need a pro. We need a pro to press next on the projector? Everything has to be perfect for the roast. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> Moses, is, we should probably fool yes, Moses on. Moses. Don't leave him hanging. Okay, Moses. You my life. <laughs> Drake, you just lost every every respect. You're going back to Drake now, Moses. Oh, Maxi. What's the foot? I should probably fill him in. Me and Sophie are hijacking the roast tonight. We need your help to run this slideshow instead. We have good reason. We'll see. All right. I trust you. You better do. What if the slideshow is just to expose me? I should talk to the sure other enough. Moses. She does not look happy. It worked. Other you is in place and ready to go. Nice. Where'd you get this house? Aren't they from the party? Amanda saved me a kid. She knew Safi and I really got into it last year. Last piece. But damn. Chimney broke. <sighs> Wonder how it tastes. I bet I can find an extra chimney on the other side. Just... Just hang on. Yeah. Let's I not... talk to Safi. Get the roast going. No, we'll find the chimney for Moses first. Love what you've done with the place. Can't wait to take all this shit down. Abraxas's idea of holiday decor does not line up with mine. Uh. I'm surprised you let them do anything. You're kind of a control freak. I am not. It's just my bar. Well, yeah. Whatever, shoe, go enjoy the party. So bossy. I did say, I did say, I did say yesterday. Um, it's a turn on, so I can't really complain. <laughs> Look at that perfectly intact chimney. Discussions about our issues on campus going so far. Much better. Look at that perfectly intact chimney. Um. Okay, but how do I get? Die chip. Oh wait, I should probably go back to Dead World and use that uh power. Can I borrow a selfie for a sec? What's up? So, Other Moses is also making a gingerbread house? Aww. Is he? Yeah. But his chimney broke. 
Mind if I take yours? How's he doing? Like, really? He's fucking. He's lonely. He seems really lonely right now. Because I'm gone? Moses is the only one I do this for. <sighs> this was a doozy to make. What does it say? No, eat it! Aww. I love it. Moses is definitely not going to eat that. Yeah, this Moses is going to be called Drake. Other Moses is just going to be called Moses. He doesn't be, he doesn't deserve to be called Dead World Moses. Moses by far is one of the best characters in the game. Voila. Guess who it's from. It's... Real? On the other side, from Safi. Thank you, Max. Oh, he's tugging on my heart. Hey. I'm so happy. <laughs> the happiest I've been since Max made out with Amanda. Okay, let's 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 light this candle. We're ready to go. Is he part of your merry band? Yeah, I am. I wasn't able to convince Gwen. Figures. Don't worry about it. We've got bigger problems. Why? What's going on? Lucas is about to call the whole thing off. He's out on the patio freaking out. He's supposed to announce his movie deal tonight. I guess he's worried it's too good to be true. Okay, so what do we do? Better be quick. That's two ticks away from calling an Uber. Fuck. I'm gonna go stall him. You figure something out, Max. Good luck. Why is everything up to me? What's she doing? Is that Safi? <laughs> oh my god. It's definitely Safi. It better go back <laughs> up. Safi out on the patio. I'll be quick. How did you find success after years of mediocrity? Loretta? I talked about this in my workshops, Loretta. Don't you remember? Genius is rarely understood. Critics rarely understand genius when it first appears. That's very kind of you, Max. And very true. It's been years since Splatter Beast was published. Have you settled for an early retirement? You can't rush art. One book is enough. <laughs> One book is enough. I'm not sure if I should be playing the good cop or bad cop right now. You can't rush art. Come on, Loretta. You can't rush the process. Lucas has a vision that requires time to perfect. Yes. Very well said, Max. Thank you. Besides, there's a reason Lucas needs to focus back on Wilder Beasts for now. Oh, really? If you stick around for the Krampus roast, you can be the first to break the news. Right, Lucas? Uh, yeah, that's right, sure. 
Nice work, Loretta. Thanks for your time, Professor. Thanks, Max. That young woman was aggressive. Fame is hard. She admires you. Part of being famous, right? I'll let you in. I almost called out the event before you got here. You? On your big name? <laughs> yeah, I know. If my old man could see me, he'd tell me to man up and get in there. <laughs> he was an author too, you know. Roberto Colmenero. Come on then. I deserve this. I should stop stalling. Go get him. Just the roast. And the end of your career. Yeah, what does he keep tapping? Shit. That's the same gun. RC. Roberto Colmenero. Great job, partner. Although, I thought you were going to puke there for a second. Lucas has a gun. Hey, what the Fuck? Why? It belonged to his father. Sophie, this is bad. Jesus, Max, you might shoot me, Lucas might shoot me. America has problems. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I told you, Max. I trust you. Yeah, let's put the gun away. Here, I'll hold on to it. Happy? Um. No, we could have just put it back. <laughs> let's get this. Let's light this candle. For the premise rose. <laughs> let's welcome our guest of honor, Professor Lucas Colmenero. Fair warning. He's going to say a few words before we start. So I hope everyone's already halfway to wait. <laughs> no, I feel free. I just got it. I'm so I, slow uh, lately. I wanted to announce some surprising news. No. My world renowned book, Wilder Beasts and Deeds. That's not right. Uh, who... What is this? It's not your past, Lucas. Your former student, Maya Okada. Uh... Now that's odd. <laughs> I thought this was a presentation about your book. Would you care to explain what Maya's doing up there instead? These are not my slides. No? Then let me help you out. Beast rose and stared into me. It became me. I had always been the beast. <laughs> Powerful words from Caledon's famous pet novelist. Am I right? What do we all think? Oh, do I have to boo a chair? Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. At least someone remembers this is a roast. Now, wait a minute, Professor. This might be the clue we were looking for. <laughs> so, what do we have here? Maya Okada's draft. 
Wait a minute. Maya wrote that sentence? That, that, that page? For real? Yes, for real. But you already know that. Because every word of your venerated novel belongs to Maya Okada. What the hell are you doing? This is slander. Every one of this man's accolades belongs to Maya Okada. That's why he only wrote one book. I can't believe this. That's why the one book. Yeah. You were right. It's working. How did you get away with this? You don't know what you're talking about. Try me. What is he gonna do? All right, all right. Let's rein this in. <laughs> now we wouldn't want this roast to end in any actionable legal threats. <laughs> Continue, please. Did he just blackmail him? As some of you must surely know, Maya Okada was a beloved former student of mine who tragically took her own life. The thought of her death being politicized and used as as a cudgel beyond disrespectful. Maya believed in my work. She believed in me. I knew this would fucking happen. What are you doing? I'm changing it to Ben. I'll make it look as fast at myself. Fucking wait. This is your chance to tell everyone your side. Shouldn't you go up there as yourself? Are you serious right now? If speaking my truth worked, we wouldn't be here. I am serious. Superpowers aren't the answer to every problem. I'm gonna support Safi no matter what. Trust you. We have to get in this time, Max. This is Ben's turf, not mine. Do you really think I should go up there as myself? Ah, fuck. Go with Vin or go with yourself? If we go with Vin, Vin could get in trouble. I don't care about Vin. You can do this. Fuck. Honesty is not my strong suit. Here we go. Selfie. Did you forget that I was actually there? That at one point we were all friends? You, me, and Maya? I trusted you. Was that all a lie too? You're trying to turn me into this monster. I watched you tour the country, win awards for the work you stole from her. I watched her beg you to stop. I watched you kill her. Now you expect me to watch you profit off her grave? Yeah, and what about you? If what I did was really so bad, you would have said something back then. You didn't. was a child. What was your excuse? And what young Sophie here doesn't understand is it it wasn't stealing. Authors frequently take uh, inspiration from one another. I was going to give her credit, but then she Think about what I was going through at that time. My divorce, my son. Oh, wow. He's using the divorce and his son as an excuse. This is absurd. You 
were right. They listened to me. Just me. Of course they did. You're you. <laughs> you don't know how much this means to me, man. I'm just happy to share this moment with you. Okay, enough. Let's celebrate! Hey! <laughs> we need to talk. Alone. And before you say, fuck off, you don't want to hear this. Relax. I'm the one packing, remember? I'll be fine. Wait for me. I'll be over with my Oh, it's gonna be about the restraining order. She's gonna come back real. I should have told Safi about the fucking restraining order. Lucas I... and Safi? That can't be good. Oh, I should let other Moses know how it went. Hey, Amanda. Guess this is what you've been so distracted by. To be honest, I don't like that part of you that keeps yourself hidden from me. Uh oh. I want to. I want to tell you everything. But you can't. Not now, at least. Hey, maybe give me some time. Amanda, you work for time as well. I'm not always patient when I do. But I'll try. For you. I'll be you, Amanda. You're so cute. Thanks, Amanda. W Amanda. Wait, I want to update the other Moses first. I'm gonna leave him hanging. We got him. What I would have given to see it. How is Safi? Surprised? Surprised, I think. She's not used to people listening to her and believing her. You should get back. She needs you. Oh, I feel sorry for him. Us. She knows you're still here for her, too. Okay, gotta go meet up with Drake now. Yo, Drake, what up? Whoa. I made my entire year. Mine, too. So that's what you two were planning this whole time. Wait, where's Sophie? Where's Sophie? Sophie wanted the truth, so I gave it to her. All of it. You don't even know what the fuck you just did, do you? What was that about? What's wrong? My head. It, it was my book! I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't believe you. I can't I can do this. You lied to me. You lied, you lied to, me. to me. You lied to me. You lied to me. You lied to me. What the hell is going on? You lied to me. 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 Yo, okay, we might need to off all of them. But they're, they're losing it. They're off their medication. I think I know where she is. What if I cross over to the other side? Sophie, 
wait for me. This is the when I'm sure. I don't think, man. I, I'm not killing Safi. Her death is what's caused all this, so maybe not killing her will fix everything. We'll cross that path when we get to it, but I don't think that's gonna how it's gonna end. But we technically there should be five chapters. Yo, chill. Safi, listen to me. Your powers are hurting people. The whole campus is in danger. All this time I've been trying to get justice and she's the one who's been getting in the way. Not Gwen, my own fucking mother. What? You? You cancelled her book deal? The book was just her latest twisted fuckery. She's been doing this for years. Since I was a kid. You deserve better than what I- It wasn't Max that caused the storm, it was Safi. Safi? Remember what I told you about Arcadia Bay? About the storm? It's happening again. Don't do this to me? You'll regret everything. Let's not make this about me. If we don't do something, the whole town's gonna be destroyed. And you don't want that on you. Trust me. She kept me from seeing my dad. And she made me think it was his idea. How fucked up is that? You don't understand. This world can be so cruel. Yeah, but you don't. How's this for cruel? The only time in my entire life that you were controlling me was when I wasn't even me. Happy oh. tea. Oh. oh my god. You screwed her life up. Honestly, I say shoot her. I'm not rushing her. I'm talking. That's a terrible idea. Sophie, you don't rush someone mom. with a gun. You never needed her help. This isn't you, Sophie. I've ever really had. What's happening to you? Oh, oh my god! Oh. Ah, no! Help her! Ah. This is probably why Mac went back in time.
it's a paradox. That's one of the shortest chapters yet. 